This video is going to contain just a few quick workflow tips for anyone who's working inside 3D Code Sculpt workspace. The first thing we want to look at is using brush alphas. Oftentimes, when you're working, you switch to another brush and you might get a few seconds or several seconds of a pause and you wonder why that's occurring. What's happening is 3D Coat is loading a different brush pack that you may have loaded at some point in the past or the last time you used a given brush, you used a certain brush pack and 3D Coat remembers that and it's going to load that particular brush pack. If you use another brush, the last time you used that brush, whatever brush pack you used, then it's going to, again, it's going to resort to that by default. And that's very important to remember. That's the default action. So, if you go to the Edit menu under Preferences, under the General tab, you'll see these two options here are checked by default. Now, if you don't want that occurring, if you want to keep inside a single brush pack for all your different brushes or tools, then you want to uncheck that. Sometimes this can be very helpful and other times it can be a real pain. It really just depends on your own preferences and depending on the circumstance. So I like to uncheck that and hit OK. This way I don't have to worry about that pause and I also don't have to worry about it switching and forcing me to have to go and choose the folder I actually want to work with. Now, let's say you happen to be in the shaders panel and you want to bring up your brush palette and you don't want to have to keep reaching across your interface for that. What you can do is go to the Windows menu under pop-ups and about halfway down you'll see this alphas option. You probably want to assign a hotkey for this if you want to utilize this function. So to do that, you just hover over this particular option or tool and you can hit the end key on your keyboard, that's E-N-D, and it will allow you to make that assignment. If something is currently assigned to it, it will warn you and allow you to either stack the key or redefine it, okay? So I assigned B for brushes, and by default your presets panel is assigned to the letter P on your keyboard. If you use the color palette, which used to be called the color picker, if you use this for reference images right here inside your viewport then you can assign a hotkey for that as well and this way you don't have to constantly switch back and forth manually so to do all this again with your hotkeys for example hit B and you can scale your panel it's going to remember the scale you have here and let's try P for presets and when I move my cursor away, it automatically brings that up by default. So now I want to bring my color palette back up. When I move my cursor away, it disappears, but it pops back up here. So you can use your hotkeys to keep everything right here at your fingertips. Just move your cursor away and it disappears. Okay, so those are just a few tips that can help things run a little bit more smoothly whenever you're working inside 3D Code Sculpt Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.